Hello and welcome to Let's Play Beneath the Still Sky with me, Mr. Muckluckable. That's right, it's time for a new Let's Play and it's time for another point and click adventure game. Ah, oh, it's about time, eh? Um, now, this isn't the first video. There was an introductory one beforehand which played the open and cutscene of the game. However, I can kind of understand it wasn't the clearest of things. So, before we start playing, I'm just going to fill in some gaps. Obviously, the game will tell us the story as we progress, but just to make sure, I'll say some things now before we start. So, here is our main protagonist, Robert Foster. Hello. Um, and this game is set in the future. A dystopian future, if you will. It's not a very nice world. Um, basically, there was a horrible nuclear war, and it's now the kind of fallout period. Um, Robert is from the Gap which is Wastelands. And the Wastelands in this game actually refer to the Outback because we are in Australia. Yes, this game is set in Australia. Um, so now we're in a world where there's two types of living conditions. We have these big cities and horrible mechanical places like we're in now, and we have the Wastelands where the tribe was that brought up our lovely character, Robert. Um, I don't really want to say too much, but basically yeah, I mean, his mother died, he crashed, they helped him, the tribe, and now, after a certain amount of years, someone, I don't know who these people are, are after him. There we go. Uh, I think that's probably about it. I don't want to cover too much. We will find out a lot more as we go on. So, we just about escaped from that helicopter crash last episode, through that door down there, and we have a very nasty looking guard down there who seems to be smoking a cigarette. Yeah, there he goes. Um, so we've got to get out, I guess. We've got to escape. Let's have a little look. This is a point and click, so let's just start looking. Um, I will explain the controls in just a second. They're very, very simple. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Uh, okay, so the way we interact with things is the left mouse click. Doesn't look as if it's ever used. Just looks at things basically, and the right mouse click. Shut tight. Just as well there isn't a fire interacts with them. So you can interact with the right click and just look at with the left click. That's about it. So we can't get through that door. Damn. Um, I wouldn't really want to go down those stairs because he's there. And there should be... Ah, here we go. Now, um, I have played this game all the way through this time, unlike... I could make use of that. Unlike Indiana Jones. Well, then we'll take it. So I do know what to do, but it's kind of a bit fuzzy in my memory, so hopefully it's a nice balance of knowing what to do, but not just being a complete sterile guide. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so we can see what objects we have in our inventory up the top. If we just kind of hover over near the top. So we just picked up that metal bar. Uh, oh, what did that just say? The crowbar is strong enough to give a good leverage. Hmm. And we've also got the circuit board which contains Joey's unique personality. Yeah, in the cutscene you did see a robot, that is our little friend. We should be meeting him soon, I'd like to think. I mean, they've given us his circuit board. We'll probably get to use it. Uh, so let's try and use the uh, crowbar on this door. Right click that, right click on the door. Oh. Who's up there? Oh damn. You won't escape that way! Just run, run Robert! Oh man, he's after us. Slowly. You think he'd run? <laughs> he must have jumped. Fell all the way to ground level. Phew. Lucky escape. Ooh, that was pretty lucky, wasn't it? Um, here, we're outside now, you can actually get a nice view of the lovely polluted city we are in at the moment. Uh, one thing I absolutely adore about this game is the art style. Just look at that. It is beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, out of interest, the person who actually designed all these backgrounds was well, a pretty famous comic book artist by the name of Dave Gibbons. It was the guy who did all the panels for Watchmen uh, by Alan Moore. So if you've read that and you've seen all the art, the artwork on it, this guy also did this. Or well, that guy also did this. Okay, so we're outside. Let's have a... Oh. Security symbol. 
That must be their headquarters. All right, I guess we might have to go in there. I don't really know. Where are we actually going? Let's just go back inside. Oh, it doesn't look as if it's ever used. Unless he is. Is a guard going to be out there? I hope not. Oh no, it's going. Good. Good, good. Now, um, also before we carry on, let's just have a quick look at the menu. Um, let's just have a look. So we've got restore game, save game, quit, restart, the sound effects, and text and speech. So that's just if you want text only, speech only, or both. These bits, are, well, that bit's just uh, music volume. This bit's quite interesting. The game speed. Because the problem is... Robert is a bit of a dawdler. Look how long it will take me just to walk over there. And and the further you get into the game, the further you have to walk. So I think we might just bump up the game speed a little bit. What about there? That's a bit better. Yes, I like that. It does speed up the whole game though, so that's now doing whatever that's doing faster. Doesn't matter though, should be okay. Those stairs don't look safe to me. Just go those stairs. Come on, get down there, you wuss. Yeah, that's really annoying, that thing. But I think it's worth it just so we can walk faster. Because believe me, oh, it gets so. There are patches we have to walk for very, very long parts of the game later on. Press. It's wheezing and banging like an asthmatic dinosaur in the mating season. <laughs> well, that's quite an interesting comparison to make. Um, I'm not putting my hand anywhere near there. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, actually. That's probably a very smart idea. So, where are we exactly? I have no idea. Oh my god, what is that? Transporter. A transport droid. Wonder if I could fix it. If Joey was here, he'd know what to do. Joey, yeah, we do need to get Joey. There doesn't appear to be anything wrong with it. Oh. You just said it was fi Oh, I don't know. Um... Oh. Let's have a look. <laughs> Go all the way around it first. An elevator to the floor below. Oh, God. Oh, God. Hey! What are you doing? Weren't you told? Routine inspection. Well, keep off that elevator. Your weight set the alarm off. And I can't concentrate with all that noise. Um, okay. Angry man. That's the man the guard spoke to earlier. Is he gonna grass us up? Please don't. Who are you? Excuse me. Let's, let's go talk to him. What now? Hi, um... Yeah, where am I? Where am I? You're in the Union City recycling plant. Right, so there we are. That's where we are. Um, in Union City, apparently. What's the best way out of the city? You'll have to get to ground level first. You're at the top of Erie Tower Block. Can't I use your elevator? No, you can't. It's not built for humans. And besides, it only goes down to the furnace. Damn. Um, hmm. Who's in charge around here? Not me. I just work here. Hobbins is the name. Who's in charge, and where can I find him? It's Lamb you'll be wanting. He's the supervisor. I see. And who does he work for? The council, of course. Okay, so we're getting a lot of information here. Uh, that's Hobbins. Hey, Hobbins. Lamb is the manager or something. Um, yeah, what about this council? Tell me more about the council. They govern the city. With the help of Link. What's that? The computer they built as their advisor. Oh dear, this this is not off to a good start. You could, Just hearing that, a computer as an advisor. No, 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 no. Um... What was it like before Link? Ah, those were the days, son. We didn't have the problems we got now. So who built the computer? Search me. Flipping research scientist, probably. Right. Um... <laughs> yeah, how come your fire exit just leads to the edge of the building? How come your fire exit leads nowhere? 
You've been up there. It's not safe. I could see that. If you break your legs, don't come running to me for sympathy. Oh dear, he's worse than Mr. Burns painting on a fire exit. Jeez. Uh, so, how. Yeah, we have to get to ground level to leave, that's what he said. Um. Yeah. So, how do I get to ground level? There's an elevator out on the walkway. Of course, you can't reach it right now. Why not? Because Reich's boys are guarding the exit from the plant. Oh, yeah, yeah, guarding from something. I don't know who they're looking for. Uh. How come your elevator's not working? It's activated automatically by the transport robot. Alright, lots of things are going wrong. <laughs> What's wrong with the transport? It's broken down. Again. Yeah, again. It's probably the Doppler charge thingamajig. But I haven't got time to mend it now. Um... Well, it's kind of obvious what security want, but let's ask him anyway. What did security want? After a saboteur! <gasps> You seen anything suspicious? No. Um, no. Uh, yes, the wrecked helicopter. I saw a wrecked helicopter. Yeah. Seems it blocked the walkway. So we're stuck in this block. Oh, wonderful. Let's just, uh... I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Yep. You can skip conversations by clicking as well, so I might have to do that when I misclick or something. So, okay, we can't get out. Helicopters blocking the way. We need to get down to ground level. Oh, so many things to do. Oh, junk. I love me some junk. A discarded coffee machine. You might need that. That's no use. There's no junk. <laughs> oh, okay. Maybe not. It's a robot shell. Rusty, but it might work. Oh, okay. It's got no circuit board. Right. There we go then. Where's our circuit board? Get in there. Welcome back, Joey. Is this the best shell you could find? Listen, we're in deep trouble. You've turned me into a vacuum cleaner. It's functional. Don't be ungrateful. Now, I don't know where we are, or why we were brought here, but I intend to get some answers. I've got a weird reading from my scanner. We're 120 meters above the ground. We've got to find a way down. And keep out of the way of security. Oh, okay. We yeah, 120 meters up. That's quite high. Um, so here's Joey. Hey, Joey. Um, little robot friend. We can just pop his circuit board in anywhere we want, and that becomes the new robot. Um, he's already told us our location. Can you start the transporter? Oh, there's that thing there. I don't know why we need to do that just yet. Yeah, what tools do you what have? What tools does that shell have? None of any use, unless you're into housework. I've got an onboard buffing and polishing tool, and an extendable probe. Oh my. <laughs> Ooh, uh. Um, can you distract that maintenance man? We have to get out of this city. Can't we just stay here? No. Don't you miss our home, the Gap? With all that sand clogging my circuits? No, I don't. Yes, but over here, we are a saboteur. We are wanted by security. Let's go... Oh, what are these? Hang on. Out my way, little robot. Flashing lights like these can be hypnotic. There's no way of changing the sequence. Oh, damn. Let's go... Oh, let's go mash some buttons on this. I can't operate it without the key. Oh. Damn. Um. Okay, we looked at all that junk. That's where we got ro uh, the robot shell from. So we can go through here. Let's have a look. I think this is where that Hobbins went. So. Aha! There he is. Hey. Excuse me. What now? What goes on in here? It's me workshop. <laughs> like it? Um. Should we oh, compliment or or critique him? Mm, he seems like an okay guy. He's got a nice mustache. It's very impressive. A symbol of dehumanized society. 
the futile struggle against entropy. Symbol, my bum. <laughs> Only thing this symbolizes is 30 years of hard craft. Yeah, what is it? What is this thing over here? What is that doing? What are all these flashing? What are you making? It's a special job. A drive shaft. Lamb needs it for the pipe factory. Right. I'll get on with my inspection. You do that, son. Where did you get that robot? I built him. Like it? It's crap. <laughs> oh, I should have said your paintwork was rubbish then if you're going to bloody moan about my little robot friend. Let's just push him into that laser. Um, just one thing quickly. Let's sort out the the music volume. I think that's just a little bit too loud. There we go. Compared to the voices anyway. Um, so let's have a quick look in this room and then we'll probably have to call it the end of the first episode. Oh. Out of the way, I'm sure there's a sun Yes, there we go. What's this? These displays mean nothing to me. Just a jumble of ASCII. Meaningless. Oh, damn. Oh, buttons. Press the buttons. Lots of buttons just asking to be pressed. Do it. Do it. There must be a secret combination. Oh, damn. It's displaying technical information. It's a lever with a big red knob just waiting to be pulled. Well, you know what that means, then. Whoop. Oh, that turns it off, does it? Good, because that's making lots of noise. Don't turn it back on. Let's have a look at this. Let's have a look at the cool green laser. Sleek. High precision and high powered. Mm-hmm. It must be controlled by the computer. Yeah, he's just turned it back on, hasn't he? Damn him. All right. I don't think there's. Oh, ah. Oh. Smart design. What? It's a cupboard door. <laughs> How is that particularly smart? Out of the way, Hobbins. What's in here? What are you doing? Oh. Get out! That's my personal property. What's that? What was that? What are you oh. doing? Get out! That's me. There's something in there. I mean, it's only a few pixels, so it's difficult to see. <laughs> him not wanting us to go in there makes me feel as if we probably need to go in there. Um, right. Okay then, well... Oh, hello, Joey. Let's just quickly see what he says. Oh, he'll be able to distract him. Um, What's our present location? What does it matter? We've had it. Very optimistic little robot. Mm-hmm. That little shell suits you, Joey. Get lost, Foster. It's awful. Find me a new one. <laughs> I do love that little Forget robot. Forget it. He is very good. Um, okay then, well, I think that will probably do it for episode one. We've kind of got a vague mission to do. We're going to have to try and open this cupboard and get him out of the way. Hopefully Joey can help us there. So, until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.